In this video, we're going to crease the camera pieces. All right, so we're just about wrapped up. We have a few more details that we need to add to the models, and then we need to crease those pieces just to get this finalized. So looking at this piece right here, we have these little creases that we need to add in there. And so that's going to be on this piece here. So let's go ahead and go to Edit Poly. And we'll add these really quickly using the same technique that we've been using, using Connect, and then we'll pinch those together. And then I'm going to slide that to the right a little bit. And let me pinch that a little bit closer. Okay, and so it's going to be something like that. And we're going to go to Polygon Mode, select that one, and then hold Shift. And we'll extrude using Local Normal. And then hit OK on that. So that's that. And then we have this piece here. Uh, we could go ahead and crease that, but I'm going to wait just a moment. Let me just add these details really quickly so we can just crease all at the same time. On this one, we have this rounded edge here. And actually, by looking at that really quickly, kind of notice that it might actually be rounded on the front here. So let's actually take these vertices on the corners and I'm going to pull that back to here and then we'll take these and we'll pull those back and let me pull these forward just a little bit more I don't want to go quite that far alright so there we go now we have that and then let's go to edge mode let's select this one and we're going to hold shift select that ring there we go and then we'll do connect and I think this one's right in the center. Yep. And we'll do two segments. We'll pinch those close together. And then let's go to polygon mode. Select that polygon, hold shift. And then we will inset this. Now it does go all the way through the back side here. So that's fine. And we'll extrude that. And we'll do negative 0.2. And that is going to be by local normal and hit OK. So now we've done that. That looks great. We've added all the details that we need there. I'm looking at the rest of this and I don't think I have any other details like that that I need to add. So we can now just go through the process of creasing. So let's go to Crease Set. There we go. And let's go to Edge Mode. And I'm going to double click on this loop. I'm going to hit Ring. And that's going to select that all the way through. And that's really all I want. So let's add crease set, and then let's do point 0.2. And I, it looks like I did grab a couple of extra edges somewhere in here. Oh, it created, it selected those. So that's not a big deal. Let's just select those and then right click and subtract from the selection. And there we go. All right, so now we've done that. Let's do the next one. Hit Alt X just to bring that back and add our crease set and then let's go to edge mode now with this one it's going to be a little bit trickier I'm going to try to grab all of these edges and it looks like I may have grabbed a couple of edges too many there let's turn on that ignore back facing hopefully that will help And I just want to make sure that I'm grabbing these outside corners. And I'm looking at this and might be able to let's select using this. I think that's probably going to give us everything that we need. Let's select this guy right here. Let's hit F3. And I'm looking at the inside of that. I think that's everything that I need on this one. And so let's go ahead and looking at the rest of it, let's go ahead and use crease selection. And let's do point 0.2. And yep, it gives me everything that I need. Nice, nice job using that. Let's hit F3. I want to actually remove this loop right here. So I'm going to right click and subtract from that selection. And it just makes sense to do that because of this, um, th the metal pieces as they go into that. Notice how it's kind of creasing this right here. And I really don't want that. 
So I'm going to double click that. I'm going to right click and uh, subtract. Okay, and it just kind of naturally goes into that piece. Now, one thing that is kind of difficult about it is that this piece right here, we've got this edge right here that's being creased along with that, I believe. So let's go ahead and just select that one and this one and right click and subtract. And nope, I need that. Okay. I need it to pull across here. So let's add this. Okay, so see how that's kind of trying to pull that across and it really straightens that out. Let's do it down here as well. Okay, that gives us a much better shape. I'm happy with that. Okay, so there's that piece. And now we have the next one. And let's just add our crease set modifier. Now we could also, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, we could also just turn on our configure modifier sets. And we have a lot of these that are available. So there is one that's called subdivision surfaces. And if we add this um, to show our buttons, so show that. Notice here we have crease, crease set, turbo smooth, open subdiv, a couple of these other ones. Uh, we can quickly get to those modifiers instead of going through the loop the entire time. So that's really cool. Let's double click on this edge here and let's go all the way through. And let me just isolate this to make it nice and fast. And we could have hit ring, but by doing that it would have created these or selected the ones in the middle too. And we'll just add a crease set, point two. That's all I need for that one. And let's turn off the isolation toggle. And then we have this piece here. This one's going to be a little bit trickier, but I believe what we can do is use the same type of method that we use for this other one. So let's add the crease set modifier just by clicking on this button now that we have configured and shown those buttons. And let's do select by angle. And I think that's going to give me everything that I need. Go to crease set and do point two. Perfect. That looks great. Now there is one edge in here, right here in the middle, that I would want to um, maybe add to this. Uh, let's do this one because it is pulling just a little too much on that. So by double click on that loop, I can add that to the selection. And you can see that it doesn't quite pull so much across there. It's trying to transition right into here very, very nicely. So that looks good. I like the way that, that transitions and that kind of forms into the other metal parts. All right, and then finally, we have the camera lens. And so right here, grab Edit Poly, Crease Set, select the edges, and let's select by degree angle. Do 90 degrees on that. If we want, we can go ahead and toggle this just to see what we have selected. Crease set, and we'll do point 0.2. Very cool. And then let's turn that back on. Let's grab the interior piece, and again, another crease set modifier. And on this one, we are going to go ahead and select by angle. And it should select all of those pieces on the inside there, and that should be it. Now, it might also... Uh, we might need to select these edges on the inside. Okay, and so there's going to be two of those. And then by doing that, it will give us this nice, neat little crease. And I'm actually going to go ahead and select this loop all the way around and those corners. And there we go. Add that to the crease set. Point two. And it gives us this nice rounded look. Very happy with the way that looks there. And then we have our lenses. Now the lenses, they don't really need to have any crease sets or anything like that. Um, one thing that I will do to both of these really quickly um, is go ahead and add a shell modifier to them. The reason that I want to do that is because I want to add thickness to each one. Uh, whenever you have things that are going to be that are going to have a glass material to them. I like to give them a little bit of thickness because it does help. 
with that. So let's do outside amount, let's do 0.2 on each one of those. And let's select the interior piece as well. And let's add a shell modifier. And it's going to give me the same thing. Now looking at this, um, let me just hit um, Alt X just to see that piece there. And it's giving me this nice smooth um, edge here, but I want it to be nice and crisp on that back side. So to make sure that that is there, um, what I'm going to do is add the crease set modifier above my shell. So let's do that here. And I'm just going to select this outside edge and then also the interior edge on that back side and then just crease that. So we'll do point 0.2 on that. So it makes it nice and flat there. And then let's do that same thing for the interior piece. So let's select it and add the crease set above the shell. Double click on both of those edges, create a crease set, and then point 0.2. There we go. All right, so looking at this, our object is complete. We've smoothed everything out. We've added all of our details. I'm very, very happy with the way that this has turned out. Remember the bracket piece. We don't need to add any smoothing to it because we use spline modeling for that. And we creased um, each one of those corners just to kind of smooth it out. And we used Boolean values. If we went ahead and we smoothed this out, it would have some problems, remember, because we have these n-gons. And I use those on purpose just to show you some modeling practices other than just box modeling and polygon modeling. We can use Booleans to create manufactured pieces like that very, very quickly. All right, so now that this is done, let's move on into our next module. We're going to start working with materials and talk about UV mapping and how to work with textures on your objects just to get the final look and get it ready for presentation.